Hello, thanks for joining me for another macro series review. Right, today we've got Guinness Original 2X 4.2% ABV out of St James's Gate in Dublin, Ireland. Brewers, Brewers Source 1821. This, if you were in a pub sometime between 1821 and 1970, chances are this is the Guinness you would have been drinking. Originally brewed as a 2x version of, of their porter, it's hoppy, roasty, crisp with a bittersweet finish. So I purchased this just up the road, um, literally my local corner shop, 500ml can, yeah 4.2%. There's a few different um, variants of the Guinness kind of range. You've got the foreign extra stouts that are brewed here in Europe and so it's brewed across the pond in the United States and Canada, which is the same beer um, and the same ABV. So depends where you are in the world, but yeah. Guinness. Um, I don't think I've ever had this one. Uh, when you go to untap, it's Guinness Original. Two X. Don't know if you can get this in the States or not, but there you go. Established 1759. So there you go. Right. Beer in a glass then. It's it's kind of a slightly tanned coloured white head. Yeah, it's a bit more a bit more than uh, tanned I guess, but yeah. Get back in the well. There is a few kind of mahogany hues coming through. There's a slight kind of see throughy part of the beer as you look up underneath into the light. But yeah, apart from that, it's jet black. 4.2%. I mean, this is in Porter range. You have to think back in the day. It's got a there's a slight licorice edge on the aroma. Roasty malt. Maybe some slight dark fruit, but I'm, it's just a kind of a mild licorice aroma. Let's give it a try. See what we get out of this one. Cheers. coming straight through into the taste that it's mild licorice for sure there is a slight sweetness on the back end that bit of sweet kind of thing at the back end 4.2 it's you could drink as much as you want of this or as you can handle personally I, I, I'd have one because I don't really session one kind of beer anymore it's not really, I've changed my way of drinking, but if you go out and try this, no doubt you probably have more than one. Um, yeah. I've done the original, sorry, the uh, the draft of this uh, about three years ago when I was kind of a little bit drunk in a pub in Madeira. <clears throat> so maybe I'll go back and maybe I'll try it again when I'm sober and give more of a accurate opinion of it but it's a lovely creamy head on this beer I mean the mouthfeel is it's not really not really there the mouthfeel for me but we're all different go out and try it for yourself if you can get hold of it um, a nice one on, on, on draft I mean I'd imagine I don't know if this is on draft, obviously the draft is on draft, but this could be, but I don't, I, maybe in Ireland, I don't know. I, I don't really kind of, these days, go into a pub thinking, oh, they've got this Guinness on, or they've got this from Guinness on, or whatever, so. Definitely thin, I mean, it's going to be, for my palate. If you're new into stouts, this could be one that... <clears throat> 
give it a try if you know if not had a, a stout before or a porter or anything. This is very porter-esque. I mean it's saying on the can. Um, this is the, the two times version of the what well, a two X version of, of their porter. It's hoppy, is it hoppy? Don't know about that, but definitely roasty. It's definitely crisp, it's definitely easy drinking. Mouthfeel's not really there, body lower end of a medium for me. Um, but yeah, it's alright. I'll give it one more sip and I'll give it a rating. There's actually more light coming through that than I thought. Um, I'll give this... I don't know, a 5. A 5 out of 10. 2.5 on the untapped scale. Um, yeah. It's, it's Guinness original, so. But if you like it, cracking. It, you know, it's, um, that's what it's all about, it. enjoying what you're drinking, so. Anyway, let me know if you've had this one before, and I'll see you next Saturday on the Macro Series. Cheers.